Hey guys, I'm Grammy and welcome back to my Iron Man Impossible video series. We just uh, finished our last mission on highway, uh, highway construction. Our heavy is injured and he's taking five days off to uh, get healed. Um, we lost one of our rookies, so which typically a uh, soldier need, gets promoted at three missions and uh, eight kills or like some combination like that. Um, since a soldier died the previous mission, she got less mission experience. 20 less, which is just enough to uh, prevent her from getting promoted at 3 missions and 8 kills. So, so she'll actually need 3 promotions and 9 kills, i.e. 2 more kills to get squad sight. Um, our research is faster now, so we're probably going to go for meld recombination to get out earlier mechs. Um, after that, uh, we're going to go for arc thrower and then weapon fragments and then experimental warfare. I'm not gonna go for Phoenix Cannons and um, Sectoid Autopsy because I should, I'm gonna just buy two more Interceptors. First of all, I'm playing USA so Interceptors are cheap and since we're not doing March Satellite Rush we're only gonna be covering at most two countries the next uh, month so we'll only need to buy two Interceptors and those Interceptors will even get transferred to different countries the following month. I do like Phoenix Cannons, I, that's what I usually go for in, uh, in March Satellite Run Rush plays because first of all they're cheaper than buying new inter Interceptors. Uh, Phoenix Cannons have 95% accuracy as opposed to 70% accuracy of Avalanche Missiles and they have fire faster aim and all you need to do is get the Interceptor to tank like 2 or 3 shots. Uh, consequently. Aim tar uplink targeting is very useless see. on Phoenix cannons we'll because they have 95% uh, really accuracy. I think I've uh, spoken enough. What else is there to say? I started building an access lift because I don't have that much money to spend now that I'm new not doing a March uh, satellite rush. I didn't build a power generator here because I want to build down towards this steam vent. I'm not going to use these steam vents because uh, I don't want to wait till the third layer to start building power generators. And what else is there to say? Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm probably going to be building uh, a bunch of power generators down this way, or I'll probably be building uh, one here and then a steam vent. Uh, we'll figure it out. But I'm definitely building a power generator on this tile and this tile. Now we're going to scan. We're going to ignore. This technology has. We're going to ignore the first small UFO because we don't need money earlier. If we ignore it, we get a medium UFO later and we can shoot that down instead for much, much more money and uh, experience. Contact detected. So ignore it. We haven't scrambled. And we'll start I expected our thrower. that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating we'll resources to the project genetics. immediately. Dump all of our money in the sector report. Assumption operational. And start excavation and a power generator. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Yes! Target extraction. Okay. So, um, we got a council mission. Fortunately, uh... Oh wait, this is Van Dorn, isn't it? Okay, this is one... This is the second hardest. Council mission. I would say second only to uh, bomb disposal, but you know it's better than nothing. We didn't get panic reduction in a lucky country. Uh, if it had gone into uh, one of the countries that was panicking, we would have been save, able to save an extra country. I don't mind it going to Argentina because that means we can let Argentina panic the next turn. Uh, we get 140 credits, not bad. And the support sergeants, I would prefer a class other than support. But, you know, this is a perfect candidate for the mech that we're going to be building. So, uh, let's go. Excellent. We look forward Squadron, to uh, Ricci progress. is back. So I said earlier that our sniper would need, uh, two kills. But since council missions get give you more experience than normal missions, our sniper will only need one kill on this mission. Uh, since we're dealing with Thin Man, I do want an assault since they get, do that tiny bit of extra damage that, uh... Actually, do I want an assault? Do I really want an assault? It's a tough question, guys. I don't know. This is, 
you can go with a rookie, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there are five thin men you need to deal with, and definitely assault are one of the best options for dealing with thin men. Um, but since the, the spawns are fairly predictable, you don't necessarily need the assault. But you know, I think I'm done rambling here. But yeah, uh, let's do this. Uh, hopefully, this will make up for you know not being able to do a March satellite rush. At least we'll have a very sharp uh, money advantage. For April, we definitely will. I don't, definitely don't plan on losing a single country from April and beyond. Um, I'm not gonna do a huge map by map analysis uh, because since council missions are so predictable, um, the strategies basically boil down to oh, just follow this set of steps. Um, well, what is there to say? There's one thin man pod that you need to deal with first. Um, there's a a few sectoids on the bottom left corner, and then there's four more on top of the back. I'm probably going to use a rocket to dispose of the sectoids because they're actually the biggest threat on this map, not the Thin Men. The Thin Men airdrop, they're very easy to kill, especially with an assault, which we brought along. Uh, these th uh, sectoids are very easy to kill because they're next to exploding cars. Uh, but the Thin Men in the back, they have high ground, if, and you can't advance down the middle because they'll have high ground on you. Um, you don't really have much high, you don't have any high cover to exploit, so you need to wait for them to come to you. And that's always a terrible, terrible prospect. So we're going to move our soldiers up somewhere where uh, we won't trigger the first uh, sectoid. We're going to move our assault up Pulling as close to the sec, uh, did I say sectoid? As close to the thing as possible. Door, right? You ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast from those freaks at the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. You can go grab Van Dorn. Get you back to your aircraft. All right, so we're gonna move our least useful soldier up, and as usual, it's our squad sight. Uh, our sniper that doesn't have squad sight. Now we have a guaranteed kill on this uh, thin man. The question is how we deal with him. Um, we, we want kills on every soldier but the rookie, so we're going to move the rookie up and I'm debating whether I'm going to take a pot shot or I'm going to grenade. Grenades are pretty precious on this map, so I'm just going to take a pot shot. Having four soldiers take 45% uh, shots, pretty good chance to kill even a thin man. No way that just uh, I can move here. I'm pretty sure that won't trigger line of sight with the sec points on the bottom. But... Yeah, that's probably the best move that we have. Going in for the kill. Stepping up. You the ops team? Get over here. We have a new objective. Guys, this is why shotguns are so amazing. So much aim bonus at close range. And they do plus one damage. And they do a ton of mark for chance. Bam! Shotguns. If that were a laser rifle in that same position, I would've been screwed. A shotgun, fucking boss. We're gonna ignore Van Dorm. He's a whiny little bitch. Um, we definitely want our run and gun to recharge before we trigger any more aliens. This is not a meld-based map. We can buy as much time as we need. Let's rock. Supposed to reload, but yeah, you get the idea. Aye, aye, Commander. X-ray spotted. We're gonna use uh, our squatty grenade, uh, our rookie grenade, to take out the cover and set the car on fire. We have a few options. Let's see here. Eighty-five percent chance to kill. He's probably the best soldier to deal a shot against this sectoid. Because keep in mind, our sniper does not have. Should have pushed, put her closer, but yeah. Our sniper can't kill with just a pistol. Our sniper only needs a single kill, so I don't want to give her more kills. I'd rather invest in uh in my assault and aggression. Two grenades down, we solve a rocket, and you deal with four more sectoids, 
And four more dead men. This useful soldier is still the uh, sniper the the that spots the aliens. Hopefully they crowd around that car so they can blow it up. And they don't. Because, fuck my life. They crowd around this car. I don't know if that's a thin rocket radius. And it's, I can hit front of my sectoid. And that's bad. Uh, uh, uh. We need to uh, back the fuck off. I don't know how far back, but I, I know this map is pretty nasty. Yes, look. Heading there now. Hunker down. Hunker down. You the ops team? Get over here. I'm pretty sure the sectoids will just ignore Van Dorn, so long as, uh... So long as we don't trigger him. So we're gonna keep falling back and keep biding time. This is an extremely boring strategy, so I'm sorry guys. Like I said, I'm super duper worried that these guys might have line of sight above here. Hold them. See what happens. There we go. He's unfortunately hiding behind... Okay. We got the overwatch. We don't get the kill. And they got the flank on our soldiers. Fuck. Probably should have seen that coming. We have guaranteed kills and grenades, so no need for us to rush the issue. Our heavy needs kills, so... I don't want to move any more ahead because I'm worried about the other side. Uh, other sectoid taking a shot. Since there's very little cover and this slope is kind of angled, there are a lot of positions where the sectoid can have a shot on our soldier. No longer a threat. We're green to go. Oh yeah, one more second to deal with. Alright, now the correct play in this situation, what is it? Probably to advance. Moving to position. And continue overwatching. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably better to go to this door. Like I said, this little area here, the sector will have line of sight. And miraculously, holy crap, our rookie pulls through. I was so confident that one of these low cover tiles would have triggered the aliens, but it turns out I was completely wrong. I'm gonna move up the assault. Thank God I'll trigger here. the sectoids and I'll capture Van Dorn for us, finally. But I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. I don't know what outfit you're from, but I haven't seen gear like that before. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. Objectives updated. Uh, we don't have any great shots. We could move some guys off and take like bullet shots, but I don't, I don't even think that's worth the time because our accuracy would be so low. We're just gonna blow them up. Blow them the hell. That deals with every last sectoid, we just have four more Thin Man airdrops to deal with. I'm going to move everyone back. Moving to position. And I'm gonna leave Van Dorn exactly I'm where he on is. The move. Yes, As with most uh missions, uh the escort is the deciding factor in when aliens spawn. Now. We, get out of here alive. we want to make sure I you're in a comfortable position a before bastards. you move them up. And only move them up me. in very small increments. Okay. And always have your every last soldier yeah. in Overwatch in a decent position every single time. Strike one. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Unfortunately, I moved far enough to uh Missed. Holy 
shit. I missed every overwatch shot. Okay, let's see what our moves are. This sniper can only fire at one person, so we're gonna do that. She needs... I don't even remember. Probably should know. Take the headshot, we get the kill. I just wish I could have done more for my people. I lost some good men. Take a shot, we got the kill. Okay, so... Moral of the story, we made a mistake. We should have moved Van Dorn up like only two tiles. Or we should have not moved them up and we should have overwatched for one more turn. Everyone reload, Van Dorn stays still. Okay, so the trick with the last one is uh, the thin men will drop near the cars and you just blow them up with grenades. So we're gonna dash our two grenadiers up. As close as we can. I'm gonna dash Vandor enough. I, I literally do not care about cover anymore. Since we have very guaranteed kills. Target confirmed. On our way. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. One? Two. We want to give the kills to the heavy since he, uh, yeah, he needs the extra kill to get promoted. I'm gonna drop one grenade. Two grenades. Avanti. Um, another thing you can do is you can drop a grenade the turn prior and then uh, blow them up the next turn. I did make mistakes on this map. I'm sorry because, well, I don't play Vandor missions <laughs> enough to know every last detail, but uh, I think I did pretty well, all things considered. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's how you do Vandor. I owe you one. Seriously. I wouldn't be here without your help. Executed to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double.